Thank you for clicking play on this highlights video of our second 11 at home to Table Toppers Ram in what is a bumper week for Worthing Cricket Club in terms of videos. Thank you for making time to watch this one. It's a little unusual in some ways, uh, which we can explain later. The weather down at the manor was delightful on Saturday, sun shining as the batters took to the field. Shane Felton on a particular birthday for him opening up the bowling with a maiden there in the third over. Bindella finally getting hold of a ball there for the first boundary of the day in the tenth over. So Worthing will be very pleased with their bowling start. And then uh, a slightly unusual moment there as Johnny Bond manages to clip the stumps with his foot, bringing up a no ball. And the Ram 50. Aaron Rees bowling from the top end, causing some trouble before getting pulled away on the leg side for what was a rare boundary up here. We move into the 14th over. And Johnny Bond making the breakthrough. Vindela holding out before again clipping the stumps to bring up another no ball. And then on the free hit, taking the stumps, but obviously nothing happening there. Another rare boundary, 68 for one in the 15th over. Worthing would have been very pleased at this point to be containing the runs as they were. So even with the odd boundary going through, overall, Ram not particularly setting the scoreboard alight in any way here. Having said that, Daz starting to get a bit of a feel for the day perhaps as he Ticks his run rate up a little bit more. And getting down to a slightly looser delivery from Aaron. Big shout from Johnny and Rene there, but our umpire Chris Collins not moved to uh, raise his finger. But next over, Aaron Reese. Gets the ball chipped up in the air. Rene gratefully heads forward to catch it. So at this point in the day, Ram moving along at an unreasonable rate. But as I've said, were they probably still feeling fairly happy? not to be particularly blown away off those first 20 overs keeping things quite tight a couple of wickets there you can see from Aaron's over one dot 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 four so at this point perhaps thinking Ram very happy to wait take advantage of a loose ball when it comes which will keep Worthing thinking that they, they do need to be aware. But a loose ball sometimes gets hit out deep and caught. And one of those edges that you just see race away sometimes that I think you probably have to accept 
will happen as Ed Middleton takes his first stint of bowling in the twos and his first wicket. very quickly followed by his second uh, a good day out for Ed definitely as uh, he finds himself in the twos for the first time this season however not every ball that gets hit in the air off Ed is a catch as that one is dispatched down the ground for four Rene just Showing off his football skills and reminding the batsman that he's there, keeping keeping them alert to his presence. As Tommy Simpson begins his spell from the top end. With a reasonable over. Did see Ram bring up there 150. But off 32 overs. Again, nothing that Worthing will be thinking is shocking uh, and then another holding out Tommy Simpson this time the bowler another catch taken Worthing doing the hard work in the field when it's needed taking the chances that are there although of course Ram's still taking chances that are hitting a big six Rene definitely letting the batsman know that he's still there as they manage to untangle themselves. Shane skippering today, bringing himself back on to partner up with Tommy. And another one, skied and taken. Before somehow the Ram batsmen getting themselves in quite indescribable scenario which obviously there as you can see ends in a run out I think there were more yards run there than was needed for a single but no runs and a wicket lost before another catch taken excellent hands in the field from Worthing today and again Third wicket of the over there for Shane. Outstanding way to finish off the Ram innings. So some steady scores there. 40, 39 and plenty of others in double figures. But nothing huge. And with Ram top of the table when they arrived at the Manor Ground. Worthing will be very pleased to have bowled them out for not a huge total of 180. On a ground which probably has some runs in it now the explanation for the slightly strange highlights package here in what can only be described as an horrendous situation our camera failed uh, sometime during tea so we do not have the Worthing batting innings but a look at this scorecard will show you that Rene after keeping well and taking catches came out with his usual master blaster, 61 off 62, including three sixes. Alex Beresford managed to get into his 50 before falling. Ed and Josh then carried on the good work, leaving not that many runs needed. And eventually, off 39.4 overs, Worthing reached their required total of 181, which means that... Worthing Cricket Club second 11 won by three wickets. Uh, a very welcome victory, a very impressive victory. Uh, we can only apologise that we couldn't show you it in all their glory. But we uh, obviously remember that for cricket there's a lot involved. So a great fielding innings, great bowling display helped bring home the points. Thank you for watching. Um, as we said at the beginning plenty of highlights this week to come from our ones our twos and our under 18s um, so please do like this video subscribe to the channel to make sure that you are always there to catch everything that we have for you thanks for watching